Welcome, guests, to the Forest Moon of Endor. On this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Mandalorian from Hot Toys. Folks, Denobi2 here, and thank you for joining me once again on a true visual tour. I thought it would be fun, and I thought it would be kind of cool to go on location to the forest moon of Endor, uh, and uh, do a good old-fashioned unboxing of the uh, new Star Wars The Mandalorian 1-6 scale Hot Toys figure. Box is pretty standard, and uh, oh, look at that. Whoa. Check that out right there. A Disney sticker. Disney holographic sticker. Uh, to, Scare off those uh, pirateers. Uh, authentic licensed merch. It's different. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right. Uh, moving along. Box seems to be standard uh, with the uh, uh, photo cutout slip in the front and the uh, standard uh, black series look. Uh, they don't uh, they don't go all out in the box. They kind of tend to skimp out, but they do go all out for that uh, eight by ten photo here. That's cool. I like that. That's neat. Mandalorian. This is exciting. This is uh, one of the uh, faster uh, pre-orders from Hot Toys since everything else uh, seems to get uh, left behind. But then check out the box there. They clearly do play favoritism. They they really do. When it comes to certain IPs, they really go all out. Uh, like two pairs of hand. That is the bounty tracker and little uh, little tracking device there. Trigger fingers and uh, fist uh, bump hands. And what do we have here? Well, that's cool. Look at that. Checking it out here. Starting from the bottom. Uh, oh, look at I. I like how his uh, cape has the, uh, the little jagged edges on the uh, the bottom there. Ah, the uh, stormtrooper helmet. Let's start off with the stormtrooper helmet. This is cool. Now I gotta say, the stormtrooper helmet is probably the same recycled mold from the Ewok adventure, uh, the the Ewok and Leia. That doesn't make it bad though, it's still pretty badass though, once you uh, uh, put it on a pike and uh, keep off uh, intruders from invading your land. Uh, the uh, plasma rifle. See this is what I'm talking about. This is, uh, this kind of, this attention to detail is is incredible. Sometimes I really do feel that Hot Toys, they really do, uh, do play favorites when it comes to certain IPs. Because certain rifles and guns, they kind of skip up, but, but on this bad boy here, this thing looks friggin badass the uh, the detail the weathering the uh the, the paint application on this thing it's cool it's it's uh, it's cool and i like how he has the uh, little uh light and plasma effect so that uh, once you uh, attach it to the mandibles there you get a little uh cool plasma effect that's neat not going to use it though but it's still neat his uh, trusty western uh pistol there that's cool. Look at that. Look at that detail on that thing. That's neat. I like that. Pop that on his uh, holster on there. That is cool. Let's get to Mando. Let's get to the... Uh, oh, this is... Huh, I thought it'd be heavier. It. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's my first impression. My first impression when picking him up, I thought it would just be heavy. For some reason, he looks like a heavy figure. Um, and it may be because I'm just so used to picking up heavier die-cast Iron Man figures. But uh, not saying it's bad. I just... He looks more meteor. He looks like he would weigh more. Maybe it's the illusion of the uh, the armor uh, plates on him, uh, and just his overall padded look. That uh, oh, this is cool. A little Velcro armor there, swappable. See, this is a dead giveaway. The fact that uh, they incorporated Velcro patch into uh, his armor it, it pretty much tells me that. Uh, they is it pretty much could have thrown in the uh, the Beskar armor suit on this and just pay and just charge just a bit more, but no, they're they're gonna milk it, and uh, I don't blame my toys. I, it's a business that they're they're gonna they're, they will milk us. They're probably just gonna re, you know reuse the same body with the same fabric suit and just swap out the plates. Uh, not much. It, with the suit has has changed from the first episode to the very last one. Uh, adding his pistol onto his holster on there. That's cool. Looks badass. And I'm gonna swap out because it, it, with with my Mando, he's gonna he's gonna be the the, the entry level. 
So he's going to have to earn that Beskar armor, which will come in the, uh, the Mandalorian figure too, because that's the, the, the deluxe version that comes with the child. I have that on pre-order as well. Helmet looks badass. Helmet really, really looks badass. The only thing I would have probably, and it's not a deal breaker, would probably would have been why did they make the helmet diecast? It, they could have. Not saying it's bad though. The weathering on the helmet is pretty cool. Uh, attaching the little safety hook on there to the plasma rifle, so I can get some some uh, kick-ass shots out here. This is one of the cool things about going on location out to uh, the farthest moon of Endor is that using the, uh, the, the the true light method, you know, just using natural sunlight, you get certain looks that is just a little bit more challenging to accomplish inside a studio. But uh, it looks realistic. I mean, from certain angles, it looks like, you know, he has his little tracking fob on there and he's, he's on the hunt. He is definitely on the hunt. Love this figure. I also like that they didn't skimp out on the base. This is a sturdy... Uh, durable uh, base versus the the Jawa base that had that cheap little plastic fl film shell so about but this is this is hard this is rigid I like the feet imprint on there that makes it like he's just walking through the sands of tattooing this is really neat love everything about this base and uh, that concludes our on location shoot and we're going to be moving indoors for a little bit of a more of a closer look that's him on the base, uh, crotch stand, everything. Love this figure. I can't stress how much I really, really love this figure. Uh, I'm just, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting the uh, the boots. I want to know what is glued on, what's not. Those little uh, canisters on there are glued on, so they're not loose, so they're not going to come loose. Uh, again, a dead giveaway with the armor is that everything is velcroed on there so you know that they're just going to use exact same outfit and sell you the Beskar armor version. Pop them right there versus why didn't they just include it. That's the only gripe I would have about this figure. Uh, and it's kind of like a hybrid. I'm squeezing his thighs there because it's a hard fr uh, figure frame but it's padded kind of to give him a little bit more weight. I think that's the, the illusion that, that kind of caught me off guard. So it's I've, it's it's kind of like a Captain America body where it's a it's a hard body with 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 a uh, with padding on it. Um, I'm expecting the uh, the front breastplate here. That too is velcroed on. Again, the dead giveaway is that they you they essentially could have sold you the best car armor with this figure. There's really no reason. On, but I I understand. You know, you, if you want the child, you're gonna want it. Um, I love the plasma rifle attached on with that safety hook in the front. That's how I'm going to keep him posed. And I'm going to swap out his uh, his right hand here. I'm going to have him hold his, uh, his six-shooter there. And he's going to start uh, investigating the locals. I, now I kind of wish I had a, a sand crawler. They're not a sand crawler. Yeah, the sand people as he's uh, investigating, as he's uh, interrogating the locals, the, the Jawas and uh, and any other Denzians around in the area. It looks cool. I really, I, I mean, from every angle, this guy looks badass. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is fun. I, I enjoy the show. Uh, they, they really hit the home run with this thing. Uh, gonna complete the uh, Stormtrooper uh, helmet pikes there. That's a bitch right there. This right here, putting these things on. My God, heaven forbid. Gotta jimmy it without trying to warp the uh, the plastic pikes on there, and once you get the helmet on there, it's cool. It works. It really does work. Again, the the attention to detail on this helmet is pretty neat. Pop him on there, and again, I love how the base has the molded uh, boot prints on there. Keeps it nice and secure. And I wanted to include some outdoor shots because after I left. The Fadish Moon of Endor, I, I visited a couple desert locales in the area, and again, the Man Mandalorian looks realistic uh, with uh, with the uh, outdoor daylight, with the true, true light feature on there, it just looks great. Look how realistic that looks. Beautiful, beautiful figure. Uh, this is going to be a chase. I'm going to call it right now. This thing is going to blow up. 
this day, if you're dragging your feet and you're using that same ass excuse, like, oh, I'm gonna get the best car. I'm telling you right now, whether you get the best car armor or you get the regular version, they're both, especially at, at the at the eve of season two about to start, don't sleep on it, grab it, pre-order it, do what must be done.